Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching. In today's video, I will be making some hacks using the paint sticks. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and now let's craft. The paint sticks I will be using are from Home Depot. I got the five gallon, which three come in a pack. The gallon, which 10 come in a pack. My first project, I am going to use three packs and a half which that totals to 35 of these paint sticks the dollar tree item i will be using is this wire basket so the first thing i'm going to do is remove the tag then i am going to start gluing this onto the basket now i did use hot glue because i am also going to use my stapler for extra reinforcement but if you don't have a staple gun, you can always use E6000, which I am going to show you just in a little bit. Right here, I am using my staple gun. Here is where I'm going to show you how I use my E6000. So I did have to use a combination of E6000 and hot glue just so it can stay in place and that is the two options you can use if you have a third option you are more than welcome to leave it down in the comment section now i am going to fill the entire thing one thing i do recommend you doing is making sure that all of the sticks at the bottom are like touching each other or like really close by because one thing i did is i wasn't really paying attention and right here, I'm going to show you where I left a little space right here, which if I would have made sure I had um, pushed all of them together, I wouldn't have this problem, which my last stick, it wasn't fitting. But to fix that up, I just cut a little bit of the sides and then it fitted. Now you're going to do a second layer, but this time you are only going to put it in between the sticks to cover that little hole. And this is how it looks once I had finished. It is beautiful. You can honestly leave it this color, but I decided to paint mine using the Waverly Antique Wax. Once this is dry, I decided to use this Dollar Tree pillowcase to cover the inside. So I'm going to just turn the pillowcase inside out and then add it into inside the basket. You can honestly use this little basket as decoration or you can even flip it around and add a circle at the top like a wood circle and use this as a mini table. But that is it. Look how beautiful and high-end this turned out. For my next project, I will be using two packs of these, which that equals to 20 paint sticks. And from Dollar Tree, I will be using this wood box. So this is going to be very easy and simple. All I'm going to do is glue the sticks to the box, five on each side. Now, in order for this to cover that entire thing, you're going to leave like a small little tiny space in between each of them. By the way, these paint sticks are cheaper at Home Depot. Lowe's does carry these for $2 and Walmart carries them for about the same price, but 
the gallon ones are five in a pack compared to these are 10 in a pack so definitely go to Lowe's I mean not Lowe's sorry Home Depot As you can see, you can barely see the space in between them. Honestly, I just eyeballed them. I didn't use any spacer or anything. And this is how it's going to look. Now here you can add some popsicle sticks inside, which I am going to do that to reinforce this, but I do end up doing it after I had painted this, which I painted this using the Waverly Antique Wax. Here's where I decided to add the popsicle sticks and I did paint them a little bit like to where I knew you could see the little hole. Now these are a little bit bigger so I am going to cut the little edges. I'm using hot glue to glue them and then I did glue these like a little bit below the little hole it has because I am going to add some ribbon through there. Dollar Tree carries ribbon that you can use but I have this one right here. So I am going to just loop it one, like missing one, hopefully I made sense, but under and over, under and over, there you go. And on the corners, I just made sure I went around the entire corner before I looped it. I then looped both ends, and then to cover that up, I did make a bow using the same ribbon and this completes this beautiful planter the greenery i use is the boxwood greenery from walmart and that is it look how beautiful this turned out Moving on, now I'm using the five gallon ones, three come in a pack, but I'm only using four of the paint sticks. I will be saving these other two paint sticks for my next project. So the first thing I am going to do is cut two of these sticks to 10 inches. The good thing about these is that they already have like a ruler in the back. And for the other two, I'm only going to cut the handle part off. And these are the leftover pieces. So now you can set these to the side. And honestly, you can make something with these. But I do not end up using these, which I might use them on my next video. But anyways, moving on, I am going to glue these to make a square. To glue these, you can use wood glue or hot glue or both, whichever you like. I will be painting this using the Waverly Antique Wax. And 
and this is how it looks now you have a perfect frame I will be using this Dollar Tree mat which I am going to cut a little bit of the edges and then glue this to the frame To hang this, I will be using a little sawtooth hook. To finish this off, I will be making a bow and adding it to the back of the truck. And that is it. Look how beautiful and high-end this turned out. For my next project, I'm going to use 11 of these large paint sticks, which that is almost four packs of these. All right, so now I'm going to use eight of these and I'm going to use these little sticks and add them in between them as spacers. Now for two of these, I am going to cut them to size like lengthwise. For my last stick, I am going to place it like in diagonal and then I am going to cut it to size. So now that I have everything cut, I'm going to start to glue these to my eight sticks. I am using hot glue, but you are more than welcome to use wood glue. For this one right here, I decided to trace it so like that I knew where to put the glue. I do end up erasing though the lines right afterwards so like that you can't see them but honestly if you paint this you're not even going to be able to see the lines. Now I'm going to glue my last stick and I'm going to lift this up and the other sticks are going to fall out as you can see. I'm going to paint this using the Waverly Antique Wax. I will be adding this little clear Dollar Tree hook to add a wreath. And this completes this. Look how beautiful and high end this turned out. And that is it for today. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite because I would love to know. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.